sorry I didn't vlog more this morning, but it's like something fell. It's like after 12 and we are on our way to her house. We went shopping for her clothes for um, Sunset Festival. And we are going to be vlogging, well I'm going to be vlogging in Sunset. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so I'll talk to you all when we reach... Ooh, turn to my nose and she hot. Alright, I'll talk to you all. Why is it sticking? Why is it sticking? Oh my god, what happened? What's going on? It went dying. My phone is right. I'm in Sammy's room and her room is like so epic like I wish that I could do that to my room but I'm so so geometric and stuff that I can't do stuff like that because I would totally just like, like oh no 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 it's not perfect enough so yeah. yeah um so I'm just in her room waiting for her to um get back she's outside yeah Okay, I'm going. Bye. You all know that moment when you forget your MAC um, foundation home and you just have to use the Revlon alone. Normally I like to mix them when I'm going out and if I'm going to be taking any pictures, but I forgot them. So I'm going to have to do the, um, the that one alone. So let's, let's get started. Let's get started with this face. So I'm ready for the rave. This is what I'm wearing. This top with a pink bra, um, my shorts and my shoes. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I'm really excited. I'll be vlogging the entire event. Look, look at my makeup. On point and my nose ring. And I'm really excited. My hair is in two so that you can see the mark. And stuff like that. So talk to you later. Sunset bitches! Here with my main bitch! <laughs> We're going to get so fucking to it. You guys are just going to just be like, this is the best fucking vlog Monday ever. Sorry, I'm cursing so much. Okay, so there is sunset vlog, which is the 20th vlog, and then there's no vlog really for the 21st because I personally haven't vlogged today. I could have because today was very hectic. Uh, I went to a lot of places, but I didn't want to vlog because I am I am at the edge of the freaking world right now. I love Christmas and I don't want to cry in this video and seem like a complete punk but this might even be long I'm sorry from now I love Christmas I really do but Christmas is also a time that shows me just how alone I really am like everybody else God, everybody else has their family and stuff and their boyfriend and their children and I get to realize that everybody else has a family and I am fucking alone and it, it is annoying as hell and yeah I live like in a upstairs and downstairs but I live upstairs I live alone I don't live with anyone else there are people living downstairs yes I visit downstairs and right now I'm sleeping downstairs yes but I don't live downstairs I live upstairs and I am moving back like tonight I believe it is either tonight or tomorrow night and then I'm alone what is that what the hell is that is that the next how the fuck I got mold there anyway so I realized that and it sucks because 
I just see everybody else being so happy with their people and their life. I'm like, what the fuck have I done to the universe? To the universe? To like be so alone. And yes, I like my space and I love living, you know, not with other people. Um, because I don't have to worry about anybody doing anything. I know if anybody does something, it's me. Or if my nieces come over. God, oh lord, those are the most hectic days of my life or if like or if somebody else comes over or whatever but i like the comfort of living alone i like the fact that i can be by myself i don't have to worry about anybody else i don't have to worry about people eating my shit and food <laughs> um life costs less but at the same time it kind of sucks to know that i am like there is no one there for me and i will say that in the terms of yes i have friends but i am telling you that i cannot fucking count on them when i am having emotional breakdowns because they can't help they are not the most helpful people they do not give very good advice and that's just the honest truth i am the friend that gives you solid advice like real solid advice and it's like i have no one there for me like absolutely no one and that just shows me how alone i really am and i'm not gonna lie today has been one of the most stressful days in december and i'm literally feeling to be like fuck christmas i know it's jesus birthday but let's be real jesus has had billions of birthdays okay i think i can't even remember i don't even know but I'm done because I do all of this stuff to make myself feel Christmassy and to make myself and my house feel very Christmassy, very home-like. But it really isn't that really homey because, I mean, it's just me alone. And it's sad and it's real frustrating and I swear, I think this Christmas has been the hardest on me. Realizing that I've done everything. Like, normally I have a lot of help and stuff and I've had help. Like, my mom helped me clean but this time has been stressful because it's like I'm an adult. I'm an adult too quickly. This happened way too quickly and I'm not saying that I want to be a child again because hell flicking no. No. I did not have these brows when I was a child so no. I just don't want to feel like if I'm the only person on earth sometimes. I do not want to feel like if I will never ever find love or never get married and I will be alone for the rest of my life having to be in love with my career and stuff like that. I'm planning to get a dog as soon as possible. I'm going to go check out dogs tomorrow. I want a house dog. And if anybody fucking objects, I swear to god. I'll just, really, I'll be so fucking pissed because everybody else has their companion. I want a fucking dog or like 500 fucking dildos and I'm dead serious. I'm like real bitching. I am basically having the worst week. And the week has just started. I get, well, I had the worst last week. I went to Sunset. Fun. Um... Which are all good. There's plenty of vibes. I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog anymore. My phone died. So yeah, um, Morel tired. I'm tired mentally more than I am physically. Like I still have the energy to get up and go and get stuff done. Like I have stuff to still be done and I'm gonna try to do it tonight. I don't care if I have to go in my bed at one in the morning. I have the energy physically. It's just mentally I am drained. And I don't want to do anything else. I am just so done. So. Oh my god. So basically. I um. Uh, I. Just. Kind of done but. I've had, I'm not gonna lie. This has been the most stressful Christmas. The most emotional Christmas. The, the Christmas that I've cried so much because I just don't know what to do and I have no one to speak to That's just the honest truth. There was one person I could have talked to about anything and 
they've been acting like a shitty little fucker for the past few weeks so everybody should know by now i am well you all might not know because you all don't know me personally but i am the lock off queen okay like if i decide to fucking lock you off i will block you on everything you will not be able to see my life at all i will block you and i will block all your fucking friends too because i am at that point in my life where i'm just like i am getting too old for these freaking useless people right good i can't even say i want a drink because last night <coughs> last night i drank a lot not to get drunk i didn't even get tipsy not gonna lie to you i didn't even feel tipsy i don't know what's going on and i didn't eat for the day the only thing i ate was a hot dog and that was at sunset and i don't know how it is that i managed to not get drunk but i didn't oh my god i met valsta my favorite turn on dj oh my god i met him uh, we're not gonna insert any picture you want to see a picture go on my instagram um um i guess i got to shook walshy fire's hand <laughs> didn't get to meet diplo even though i wanted to so bad you know like oh god oh jesus christ oh he's so freaking sexy though like oh my god i totally will diplo for diplo okay if you know what i mean and if you don't know what i mean then too bad <laughs> uh oh my god he's just real sexy and you all know i have a thing for white boys yeah i have a thing for them like attraction but to date them i don't think i would because i've never had a white boyfriend but i don't think i would date them because one their paleness might irritate me after a while because I get sick and tired of looking at myself. Um, <laughs> two, I just don't feel like it'll work out because I mean, turn it on, no offense, no offense to any person who is of pale complexion, but I've met some white people in Trinidad who are real nice down to it people, but I've met some stuck up bitches like what I'm talking about males eh? and females too, to be honest, have the worst attitudes and I'm like, who do you think you are because you're white in trinidad because it's a predominantly black country you ain't shit what the hell oh and yesterday last night when we were walking to the car i saw this couple kissing and i legit wanted to stop and tell them it's not gonna last you know <laughs> and i didn't but i get this strong urge especially when i see teenage couples all kissing and mushy and i love you i legit want to tell them it's not gonna last anyway you take it but i don't because i don't want to crush people's spirits but these days i'm in the mood to crush anybody's spirits when they talk about love because i mean let's face it that's a pack of fuckery right um i'm ending off the vlog here this has been an emotional hateful vlog i know and i'm probably gonna watch at it in a week's time and be like you know what ella you should not have behaved like a little bitch like that <coughs> but I just I decided to be like a little bitch like that because I am just not in a very good mood. I am hungry. I am going to go eat and I'm going to find a Christmas movie. I'm going to watch that Christmas movie and I'm going to be as happy as I can possibly be, right? Not really, yeah. I just real hungry. So yeah, bye.